Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Jupiter Grad to Overview. One of the community's favorite, well also mine as well, <laughs> is coming back to the store. Interestingly, this sequel was at first an exclusive release for Pico something something, which I believe doesn't really happen that often nowadays and I don't know if people even care. It's like the exclusivity window was so short that literally no one paid attention and was there a direct benefit from it? I don't know, like I'm not into those types of marketing strategies like Sony is known about it, but I wouldn't say VR is necessarily something that you should be just closing in and not letting other people to play. So Jupiter Grad 2 is a direct continuation of its prequel, the highly dynamic swinging action game where this time around you need to investigate the space station that went completely mayhem mode with combat and you need to not only find out what's happening but also defend yourself against the incoming enemies. So that's like the direct difference between those two games. In the first one you'll be just flying by getting crashed sometimes or losing control over the pretty dynamic movement but here it seems like we're adding more stressful things on top of the already stressful gameplay which I'm not sure how that's gonna work so we'll see if it even makes sense adding in some extra pressure. I was mostly essentially a fan of the soundtrack and and the whole Russian-esque vibe and ambiance it gives out. The clips I've seen on the internet doesn't really have the same feeling I had with the prequel, which is kind of weird, like I'm worried that this iteration will be too far from the actual thing that the series succeeded in. As well as looking at the gameplay, it seems less dynamic even though we do more stuff. Maybe it's due to the enlarged recordings that it seems way slower than before, but we essentially need to get into it because the the immersion and impressions are really different comparing to what you see in front of you, so let's get back to the station! We have an introduction. Cosmonaut, are you there? You might feel dizzy after your cryo sleep, but it will pass. I have news for you, Cosmonaut. After journey from Jupiter, our ship is falling apart, so we need to get off it ASAP. Luckily, I've found a station near the Saturn rings. We'll be crossing it in a few minutes. I just need you to manually detach the left capsule from our ship and get us there in one piece, okay? <laughs> the accent, as always. But I wonder if it's the actual sequel or before, like... Detach the escape pod. Remember how to use your Cosmo sticks. Just shoot the blue areas and pull yourself to move. We're back, <laughs> essentially. I think the movement is like a bit smoother. Or maybe it was just a long time I played it. Use your thumb sticks for quick rotation. It's better to break your thumb than your neck. <laughs> an obstacle, but an easy one. Jump over it. Easy peasy. Good job. Keep going. Cosmonaut, try to practice swift and fluid swings. Don't smash yourself against these walls. I'll try. We know already how stuff works here, so I don't think we'll have a lot of problems. Remember, a way can be found when blue is around. <laughs> okay. Okay, now a long, elegant swing. Still the game is very spacious. Good job. The scale. Remember, 
you can lower yourself with thumbsticks. But keep your spirit high at all times. Two thumbs up, cosmonaut. You're doing great. In terms of the textures, at least the resolution, because I will have nothing against that. Is I think the same. It's not like perfectly clear. Like I can still see the edges pixelated or like jagged. Which I guess for say shading is a little bit weird because it's one of those art styles that lets you completely have the clarity of the vision, I think. At least if I remember from Jurassic Park. But it's still okay. Can we have some more variety? <laughs> it's been a while, I've been swinging. A way up sometimes can be tricky, but also great fun. Pity, we had to ditch your old Cosmo sticks as they were beyond repair. But we'll try to upgrade the new pair on our way, okay? Did we have this pulling mechanic before? Well done. Some stretching after a space nap is always healthy. Let's find a capsule detach button. Hurry up! The Saturn station is getting closer. We don't wanna miss it and risk losing my priceless code in a space void. It's not my fault the space station is so big. Oh, I almost had a memory glitch. You can adjust your movement settings from the menu. Check it now to customize your most comfortable experience. I'm good, come on. <laughs> There's a switch over there, hidden behind the machines. Let's activate it. Uh-oh, it's the trash incinerators. Whoa! <laughs> Hello? Sorry, Cosmonaut. I owe you an explanation. Let's display your shield bar now. Now you should see it in the upper left corner. If it drops to zero, you'll respawn in the latest airlock. So, we could continue my... our journey. Got it? I found the laser switch, so let's go. <laughs> I still need those pushing things, like for the complete dynamic of the movement. It's gonna be, it's just, for some reason the tutorial is very long. <laughs> Guess for people that never had an experience with Jupiter Grad. There's a button behind the pillar, let's look for it. Did we have those indicators before, like the circle? Good. I've opened the door to the capsule. Get us there and out of here. <laughs> here, you can transfer me to your space suit. We'll be even closer now. <laughs> what if I refuse? That's us, baby. Going on a trip. It's done, Cosmonaut. You, me, and Saturn Research Base. Let's go. Oh, what the? What? 
Okay. <laughs> I still don't have those pushing things, like that's kind of weird. Maybe it's gonna be later. Wait, cosmonaut, before you venture further into the station, let me try to install one useful module. And it should be done. Great, now you should have access to the map. I mean, I would appreciate map having like here. Not just completely black it out, but it's handy. Cause you can easily lose yourself. Locomotion wise, I will have no problems ever, like my brain is trained for this game. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a welcoming committee, but where is everyone? Welcome, my fiend. My friend, this is Tornogorsk Station, and I is your host. Is this the word? We had a serious power my function. Malfunction recently. I can't operate the station nor repair it myself, so we have an offering, an offer for you. Help me activate the station systems, and then we'll find a way to pulp, uh, to <laughs> help you. Your ship seems broken. With enough power, I could get you new pants. Parts. Let's start with pushing three power buttons that are located behind the big yellow door. Here? Okay, I mean... I guess I need to go to the other chamber. It starts very slow. With not every mechanic that I'm familiar with. <laughs> Close, what the? Big yellow door. I really need those pushing ones, like, my whole dynamic is screwed. I'll be your guide from now. Whenever the power lets you, right. And who is you? I am the brains here. AI. Like you? Yes, it's a button. You need further instructions? Oh, she's sassy now. There's not much to say overall, like, it's a quintessential Jupiter Guard experience, though. Boy, they are vast. Be my Tarzan, 
AI be your Jane. Right, it's very big, like much bigger than the prequel. But is it really needed? Because there's not much going on. It's just tunnels and tunnels. The power's up again. The cooling systems are still down. We need them up. Otherwise, the heat could melt the station. And we wouldn't like that. Okay. There is a cooling system valve nearby. Try to turn it on. See, like it's huge, and it's just the starting area. Well, duck me. <sighs> Try to turn on the valve. Okay, like that. And nothing happened. I think that because of safety reasons, the main valve has turned off. Go further and find it. Without this, we won't be able to start the production. Of what? The set of instructions was what? The classics. Our host. Why is he talking like that? Frankly, as AI, I... Oh, the dialogue cuts off, okay. I feel embarrassed. Yeah, here on the wrist it would be way better. Because then I need to black out it every single time. But it's more exploratory, I guess, now. Or like open wordish. These terrors, what do they stir? It looks like a torture lab to me. <laughs> oh no, blockade. Looks like we could break it. If we had a weapon, I hope we'll find one soon. I don't think it's happening in this overview though. <laughs> these bigger chambers bit like modern art galleries look that fish is that water toxic i don't feel like swimming it is necessary it is the way to the main valve however the passage to it is filled with water in that case we need some swimming gear our cosmostics won't work underwater there should be some equipment left in the lab. Then, we'll try the only available pass for now. Which is...
down or up? Like, I have no idea. Oh yeah, because this is the water tunnel, so... Here. I can't say if I'm bored. Like, I thought the prequel was very much quicker in introducing you. Looks like someone preferred the stuff stirred. I'm not shaken. And that's the time. <laughs> like, it was just mostly traveling through the corridors and... Yeah, I guess introducing you to the game, but it's very, very slow. So far it's fine to me. There is one mechanic that's missing, which is like pushing yourself for a more directional passages. Quintessential you play great gameplay, pretty much the exactly same art style. Resolution, I think also is the same. So like not much has changed so far. Maybe later on though. This whole part could have been much quicker or just cut down. Cause it's a lot of content for not much payoff really. Unless you really, really enjoy swinging around empty hallways. But we'll see eventually. Will we continue this? Probably when no one knows. <laughs> like that's just the trend here.